And it looks like only one to move in. Home tour. Ben Allen to the outside stall for the Mornington Cup. They're all in. Set to run 2400 at listed level. They're away. And the gold trail, one of the better ones to jump. Tally was a little bit slow to move. Big memory got out very quickly towards the outside. Also showing some speed towards the inside. Dark eyes with Von Jamask against the rail. So there's about four or five of them having a look around for the lead. Von Jamask against the fence. Dark eyes. Wider than on the course. Moving up on the course is Big Memory around the outside of the gold trail. Who's out three deep at the moment near the speed. Being followed by Yule Dash for cash and boom time. Red colours the rail. Ahead of Cadillac Mountain. Settlers Stone. And they're followed by Annis Mirabilis Tally. And then came towards the tail of the field as Self Sense Unfurl and Del Moon with his last. So as they make their way towards the turnout of the straight at the 1600 and the gold trail still on a little bit of a wide run where Von Jamas shows the way. Three quarters clear to big memory and on the inside is Boom Time wanting to get a little bit keen there with on the outside the gold trail so he is posted three deep still. Dark Eyes kicking up in the centre. A length and a half to settle his stone about seventh or sixth or so on the inside being trailed a little bit further back then by Yule Dash for Cash and Telly. Next in the field is Cadillac Mountain about two lengths then to Annis Mirabilis. Al Moon, Quith, Self Sense, and Unfurl was last of all as they went by the 1200 metre mark now. And Von Jamar showed the way from Big Memory Boom Time, and he's still out a little bit deep at the moment here on the Gold Trail. So if he's to win today, we'll find out just how good he is. Uh, behind those horses then is Dark Eyes, and they're being followed then by Settler Stone. D down on the inside, being followed by Yule Dash for Cash, and then almost a length to Telly. Self Sense is next in company there with Cadillac. Black Mountain, El Moonquith. Second last is Annis Mirabilis and Unfurl is now last of all about 800 a game. Von Jamask is the leader by one length. Big Memory is second. Striding up a little bit deeper again on the outside now is the favourite, the Gold Trail. He's only a length off the lead. Self Sense putting in a deep run as they came up the side and boom time trying to find his way clear. Von Jamask coming towards the home turn, being tackled by the Gold Trail on the outside. Then came Tally, self sense out wide on the course and boom time back on the rail. Von Jamask giving some resistance. The Gold Trail under extreme pressure. Tally's on the outside and boom time running up behind them. Von Jamask in front. Tally could be a danger on the outside. The Gold Trail coming back. Von Jamask with Tally coming at him. Tally, Andrew Bellion drives him to the front. They hit it. Oh, he might have just got it. Maybe a photo. Tally. Kicking back Von Jamask. Oh, uh, he stumbles the goal trail after crossing the line. And uh, Craig Williams went down. He's broken down. A uh, third, I'm not too sure. Boom time was up there. Self sense followed further back in the field then. At the head of the others was Settler Stone and Big Memory. Cadillac Mountain. Also not far away was Yildash for Cash and Fool El Moonquith. And towards the end of the race was um, Annis Mirabilis and and dark eyes and this is terrible after the post yeah look it's shocking like I'm not seeing the pictures uh, the gold trail obviously is uh, well broken down after the post Craig Williams has come a cropper and that is just such bad luck like, Vonga Mars look like hanging on there there is I guess some irony if that's the right word at this very moment with Tally winning for Godolphin you know they bring out another horse especially to try and get this so Tally he often runs well at this time of the year remember last year when he went on the big winning streak as a three-year-old he did, and, and another big win for the Malian family. Andrew, of Andrew, brother of Caitlin, got the group one last night, and uh, he's got the job done here for the Godolphin stable. Uh, obviously the second stringer, but from the John O'Shea stable, the Australian yeah. arm of it, and uh, he, he is a horse that can pull one out at this level. So just thinking of, uh, you know, Charlie Appleby, his team, uh, and James Ferguson, I think, is the, 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 the man that's been looking after the horse. But uh, let's hope that uh, it has a reasonable conclusion. But Tally, look, decent horse. Uh, he's in the Caulfield Cup if he wants to be. It's a long way away, we know, but you can make a plan, can't you, Moose? Well, he is there. Now he, the, Now there's no, no pressure to, to qualify him. John can just go about picking his path. Uh, you would imagine Godolphin might have more uh, horses in the wings. Uh,